Let's see. Let's play this whole thing here, and I'm going to go through your email. This time I'm going to read the email before I critique things. Check it out. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me turn down the volume. I'll look at everything, but you are talking something about um, timing is a bit snappier, especially through the problem areas 8 to 165. I mean, 80. 80, so all of this to 165. So up to the grab. She gets up. I think that's okay. Type it picky. I will probably add a couple more frames here or more drag in the head just a bit if you're making this so fast. And I will probably leave this arm down a bit longer. Um, so you can sell the idea that if she goes back so quickly, it's through the help of this arm pushing down. Because if you don't do that, and you can see how both arms are off, this is all not purely through her upper body. It's just a tad fast. Only because it's just so much mass with uh, the head and the body there. You could sell it if you are... I don't know, you said you're going to fix details like fingers and eyes later. I'm not going to comment on that, but you could technically... You could technically, once she does this here, careful. Here, <clears throat> if you look at the chest and the head, they all move as one piece, especially through here. See, this is one ginormous piece of geometry moving. There's no breakup between chest and the head and through the hips there. And then once you go down here, it's the same thing. So chest and head through all of this are massively locked. Only through here, there's a bit of drag, but it still feels like these are all just one big piece. So what you could do, since you have to break that up anyway, so it feels less stiff, you can, if she's tied to the TV and just tapping her here, once she gets into this, I would buckle the body I'm not sure how far you can go with your C-curve there um, to get into this, but just a bit. So there's a break up there, so that when she's into this mode, it's a bit less curved like that. You're starting to curve more this way. The head can stay put looking at the TV. And then once you're down here, again, you're more buckled. And what you could do around here-ish when she's down, imagine the head goes is lower. Like we'd see maybe... You know, it could be that this hairline will be maybe down here. And then she could start this throughout this area where the head goes down. <clears throat> and the reason being is that here, when she goes up, it's actually the head that goes first. So she snaps the head back. That's a massively complicated arrow that I tried to draw. <laughs> see, see, she snaps the head back and then the chest and then stops. And again, this is all going to be quick and short. I'm just trying to A, get rid of the stiffness through all of this here. And then you can also do the thing of when she gets down to here, since she is leaving or letting go of the hands for, for um, what's the word, for uh, you know holding her steady there, she would then fall over. And if she holds on to this here, boom, I think that would be, there would be a lot more push up on the, upper side of the, uh, the the higher side of the, uh, the back and the shoulders like the the arms are kind of pushing her up which could also help again with the change of the C curve of your body <clears throat> but I think snapping the head back can give you a bit of a <clears throat> excuse me a bit of a license of moving everything faster because right now it's just all it all feels like it's a lower back that brings her up. So A feels a bit weird, feels a bit stiff, and it's a bit fast. But imagine you snap back again by here, the head is lower, and then you you snap back with the head. You can use that movement to kind of indicate that I'm whipping my body up. It's the head that leads, and then the rest just comes with it. I 
think that could be a way to get there. Even this, like this kind of pose through there. This also feels a bit more comfortable, a bit more natural through there. Uh, and again, you're doing details later, but just as a thing here, when she goes, he's so hot. There's something where, uh, he's so hot, like on, especially on the hot, where I would, I would probably, when she goes back here, and goes, he's so, I will probably bring the head back a bit, which brings her hands back a bit, and it should maybe straighten her up a bit, and then so hot, and on the hot, you can get into this pose, so there's a bit more lean forward with the chest and a bit more forward movement with the head. And she goes, ha, just right now, and I know you're doing this later, but just be mindful that when she says big things like that with like a lot of energy and, and uh, air there in her lungs, that you involve the chest and that the head is affected by, ha, like that, by just a lot of, um, I don't know if energy is the right word, but it's just a lot of, what's the word? lung capacity I don't know. <laughs> it just feels otherwise like it's just body movement and the lip sync just kind of copy paste it on I just be careful about that um, all right the girl on the rise needs a bit of work I'm gonna take a look at the whole thing and go one by one just want to go through your mail again uh, I worked on having her left hand come up on to the other girl's shoulder at the end okay, hold on what are you talking about here I've worked on having left arm come up to the other girl's shoulder at the end Oh, okay. See, if you do this... Hmm, I'm not sure. If you do this, there are a couple of things. A, besides the straight path, so watch out. IK arm is yelling here. But uh, give it more of an arc. But then if you do this, to me, it feels like you need to have... And I know you're going to do details later, but... Some claw fingers, and then move that arm back down, back up. So like she's kind of to claw her way off, or she's pushing that arm off, or she puts then her arm here and then here to push her off. To me, there needs to be a bit of a reason of uh, why is this arm coming up right now? It feels a bit contri, a bit forced. Like, oh, I got to put my hand there. That's what the director said. And then, but it's not really a hug either. It just seems, it seems a bit out of place. I think you might be better off with, imagine she has the magazine. So now she lets go of the magazine. So are you saying the magazine is going to be down here and just there? But she could still technically hold on to it. So during all of this, if you don't know what to do with her arm, she could technically hold on to that stuff and it's going to be flapping. And then as she drops, she lets it go. And as everybody falls down, even the paper falls down. And that could be something. It just feels slightly force through there not not crazy I mean if you want to bring your arm up to me personally I would bring up the arm here why because she has her hand on her glasses and I wear glasses and I'm kind of protective when someone has you know, their hands like my little one my six-year-old sometimes he does something and then he puts his hand on my face while I wear glasses and you, a, you worry about stuff breaking, the you know the lenses and smudges. It feels like if you're going for a defensive arm move, then I will bring that arm back there. So she's trying to hold on to this hand and her glasses so that she doesn't break anything. Which, why not? I mean, that could be cool. That could be a bit of an in-character thing. of That's what she does with her big glasses. Um, yeah. Let's see here. It works kind of, just kind of feels forced. <laughs> I was going to say that I'm going to read through, and I did at the very beginning, and of course I already forgot. But yes, it does kind of feel forced. Maybe it's just my timing on it. It might come up a little too late. I wanted her to be tapping on her wrist. Ah, see, there you go. But it was too busy and took away from the left girl's performance. Yeah, that's why I'm also concerned about this and then holding on here, which I think then we should go with this. She just puts her hand here as well, and that way no one's moving, but it makes more sense why... She has that here. I just love that. Again, I forgot what you wrote in your email. That doesn't speak highly of me. But we are synced. We are thinking the same yet again. Um, all right. And then that's it. So let me just go through the shot and just check things out. Yeah. That's all we talked about. Oh, much. This is a bit fast. 
this section through there. Because it's not it's not just her moving down, and you could argue that could, could be a certain speed because it's her muscles and her energy and her drive and all that blah blah blah, right? At this point, she is pushing another human being down who is technically not completely loose. There is some resistance there, so I would slow this down if you can. I think you could because you can always steal steal stuff out of this move, you know what I mean? Like you're going over here and instead of going all the way back and up here, you can already shorten this and then bring her down and use just a couple frames through here just to give this a bit more time. It's not so fast. See, like this feels a lot better. <laughs> Yeah, it just feels like this arm. The other thing that feels forced is because as you do all of this here, A, it looks like an IK arm. It's just too straight. But I don't see a shoulder involved. And I don't see the chest involved. So having the head, the arm back, and then moving that arm all the way, all the way over here, you're going to have to have a wire rotation in the chest. So just mechanically, it feels more connected. I think that's going to help you. But the way she pulls her, hold and then drop. <coughs> and... It's great. I love all that. And if you drop down here, and you got that momentum going, boom, to the right, see how we're kind of hitting a bit of a stop through there. She, she goes down here, starts to move over here, and then we're kind of dropping and already going down. I will give this a bit more mechanics there in terms of just a bit more physics, where she goes over here, and then by now her ear will be here. Just, you give her some more time to bounce and go over there, hang, and then drop. And then also right now, just in general, the timing on her. It feels like someone's pulling her down. So if you give her, and you need to give her a bit more time, so a bit more bouncing over here, hold on, so it hold on. So, so she might end up dropping at the same time as her, which we kind of want to avoid, so... You can always look at potentially try to give her a lot more frames so that she drops three frames before this so maybe 282 or after it's okay to for her to drop after because we have the legs coming up so the focus is still going to go back to her audience wise right so we have all of this audience is on her and then she drops and she drops so there might be somewhere around here if they're slightly unfocused but then the legs come up so then the audience is for sure going to go back to her so and then she comes back up and let's pretend that the audience is not going back that's not a problem because she comes up anyway at the end so if we all linger on her that's okay too it just right now it feels a the timing's even it doesn't feel like a drop and fall and it feels like she's being pulled down. And I know it's a long shot, but technically, you know, if you have her drop later, so let's say she drops, boom. And she goes, bam. And then she drops, bam. And then the legs come down. You know, just kind of look at it. Maybe she drops a lot later. But the thing is, I will bring her up at the end. I like that she rolls over, so we're kind of leading the audience back to her, if the audience is here. But I would delay that a bit, just so she can collect herself a bit. Boom! <clears throat> oh, oh, what happened? And that way, she's kind of the, the last exclamation point on the shot. Now that you want to move her over, and then a beat of silence, and then she looks up, even though you could, but I would just have her roll over, and maybe... Maybe almost right before. I mean, you're snapping to an end here, so you're going to have to have some more overshoot and settle. Throw up big words here. But maybe around 307, 308, that's when she gets up. So she really is that last thing. But it's not that many frames later, so it's going to make your shot that much longer. Just going to look at her again. <laughs> I love this. I love how she goes from here to here. To here with the, with the eyes like what, and then look over to there. That's great. Then watch out. This feels a bit soft on her, so I like all of this. Like she realized, okay, wait, what's going on? So then I would I would lock, look, and then take frames out so that 
this is more of a dart. Because there's now a lot of movement right next to her. A lot of arms. And she could be slightly worried. And she's a bit more alert. Like, what is my friend doing here? And then you can, so you can snap the head over a bit more. I'm not snapping, but this is very soft. So I would make this a bit more of a dart. And that way you have a bit more... Wait, what? And then you can slowly go down. Because now she's a bit more relaxed. You know what I mean? She's a bit more alert. Because, whoa, she got up and lots of arm movement right next to me. What's going on? And then she relaxes and goes, okay, it's okay, which means that she can relax, and now the timing is slower. <laughs> and once you do that, you know, I wonder what you're going to do here. Big eyes or open mouth, but there needs to be some sort of either panic of what is she doing, or complete annoyment. Like, maybe she's annoyed because she's done that before. That could be fun for you to explore there. And especially through here, this... At this point, I would bring really big eyes, almost looking at camera. Bring up the lids really big, just for this short moment where we see her face, full on panic. Ah! Such a good shot. I know it's a lot of work, and you've been working on this for a long time. Um, I still love it. It's such a great shot, and I really, really like all of this. That pull is great at the end. The lines are great. I still really, really love that shot. All right, that's it for me. Thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.